Welcome back to the channel, in this video we are going to look at 5 things WWE Smackdown got right before Wrestlemania Backlash, we are also going to look at the following WWE news and rumors, Becky Lynch looks absolutely ripped while training for a WWE return, major title change at Wrestlemania Backlash, Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks joining alliances, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. WWE SmackDown opened up with another big segment to set up the Universal Championship scene before WrestleMania Backlash. Roman Reigns will defend his title against Cesaro at the pay-per-view, however, Jimmy's return has not worked out in the Tribal Chief's favor, and it will be interesting to see how he holds out on Sunday. Aleister Black returned with another cryptic message for the WWE Universe on SmackDown. The superstar delivered a message from his father about being forged with steel against a man made of ash, two veterans struck gold on SmackDown as they managed to win their first titles together, the change could help the division improve in the weeks to come. Apollo Crews found himself in a tough spot after multiple challengers came out to eye his Intercontinental Championship, with so much on the line, take a look at the 5 things WWE got right on SmackDown before WrestleMania Backlash, Number 5. Roman Reigns tried to take care of some family business on WWE SmackDown. Last week's WWE SmackDown welcomed back Jimmy. Roman Reigns was convinced that his counsel had been strengthened with the return of his cousin, however, he got a bitter reality check later on in the night when Jimmy made it clear that he wasn't going to blindly follow the head of the table. This week, Jay kicked off SmackDown and spoke about how his brother disrespected Reigns. He made it clear that they had to settle some family business before Reigns made his way out. The tribal chief spoke about last week's events and admitted that Cesaro is a good wrestler, however, he mocked his challenger for never having received a singles world championship match before. Jimmy appeared and talked down the two men in the ring again. He insinuated that the champion would not retain his title against the Swiss Superman at WrestleMania Backlash, Reigns wasn't too pleased with his cousin's comments and told him to face Cesaro later in the night to prove himself, the Swiss Superman emerged soon after to accept the match against Jimmy. This was a great segment to kick off SmackDown. Creative have done well to put some hurdles in the way of the biggest heel in WWE. Cesaro's story was well used in this segment without his involvement, and he will likely benefit from being in the spotlight. Number 4, Rey Mysterio defeated Dolph Ziggler on WWE SmackDown. Dominic Mysterio picked up an incredible victory over Dolph Ziggler on the throwback edition of WWE SmackDown. This week, Rey Mysterio went up against the show off just hours before their WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championships match. The two veterans started well and Ziggler took control of the match. The two men exchanged some moves before Mysterio caught Ziggler with a DDT. A power slam brought the show off back into the match as he looked to avenge his loss from last week. Ziggler kept countering Mysterio's moves and stayed on top of the action for some time. While both superstars could have had a much longer match, Ray caught Ziggler with an inside cradle for the pinfall victory. Both superstars were able to deliver before the big pay-per-view, however, the roll-up victories don't make the Mysterios look too good even though it appears they'll be picking up the victory on Sunday. After the match, Ziggler and Robert Roode issued a warning to Ray and his son the Dirty Dogs told their opponents not to get too excited as they will be retaining their titles at WrestleMania Backlash. Number 3. King Corbin and Shinsuke Nakamura started a new rivalry on WWE SmackDown. King Corbin pinned Shinsuke Nakamura in a 10-man tag team match on the throwback edition of WWE SmackDown. The two superstars were put in a match on this week's show. Both superstars struggled to gain control of the match early as they outed each other with some good offense. The King of Strong Style caught Corbin with an armbar and worked him over. Corbin managed to shift his weight and pin Nakamura for the three count to pick up the win. Nakamura wasn't too happy with the result and unleashed on the king. He rocked him with a kick to the head followed by a Kinshasa. The artist ended the segment by grabbing Corbin's crown and putting it on his own head. Corbin and Nakamura are too talented to not be involved in any rivalry on SmackDown. It's good to see that both superstars will be competing against each other for some time. The final moments of the segment signal towards a possible match for the King of the Ring crown in the coming weeks. Number 2, Natalia and Tamina became the new women's tag team champions on WWE SmackDown. WWE Women's Tag Team Champions Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax were ready for another title defense on SmackDown. The two superstars were ready to retain their titles with the help of Reginald, but he was booted from ringside by the referee. Natalia and Tamina took full advantage of the situation and tried to stay over the two dominant superstars, 
They made tags at the right moments to keep the action ticking and blocked some big moves from their opponents. At the end of the match, Tamina delivered a superfly splash to Jax to pick up the win on SmackDown. This was a big victory for Natalia and Tamina who've been in several rivalries in the past that did not help them, it was also Tamina's first title victory in WWE. The SmackDown superstar has waited long enough for this moment, and her hard work finally paid off. Jax and Bassler held the titles for a long time, but their recent reign wasn't too great. Hopefully, the new champions will be able to have a much better reign and elevate the value of the titles. Number 1. Cesaro stood tall on WWE SmackDown just before WrestleMania Backlash. Cesaro and Jimmy headlined WWE SmackDown before WrestleMania Backlash. Jimmy returned to the ring for the first time since WrestleMania 36. Cesaro showed off his incredible strength in the Thunderdome with a massive suplex to Jimmy. He dodged a superkick from Jimmy and took him down with a big European uppercut, however, a blind charge into the corner saw Cesaro crash shoulder first. The Swiss Superman's shoulder had already been damaged by Seth Rollins last week. Jimmy tried to keep the pressure on, but Cesaro was just too focused in this contest. He tried to hit the neutralizer after a few big moves, but Jimmy managed to fight out of it. Jimmy rocked Cesaro with a superkick when he went for a springboard. Roman Reigns arrived to attack Cesaro and draw a disqualification. Jimmy wasn't too happy with his cousin and started arguing with him. Cesaro recovered to attack Jay in the ring and nearly got the better of Reigns before Jay made the save. Cesaro hit Jay with the neutralizer and then stared down the Universal Champion as SmackDown came to an end. The creative team has done well to put Cesaro over in such a short amount of time. While the Swiss Superman may not win on Sunday, the angle will help push the superstar on SmackDown to a future title run. What did you think about WWE SmackDown? Be sure to leave your thoughts below and also subscribe. Now let's get into the news and rumors. Becky Lynch's WWE return is one of the most highly anticipated events in professional wrestling, and it's not surprising that rumors regarding her comeback circulate every week on the interwebs. The most recent sighting of the man however, paints a good picture regarding her return. A photo posted on the at Dead Boys Fitness Instagram handle shows Becky Lynch working out while daughter Rue rests in the background, it's a great picture in which Lynch looks to be in phenomenal condition. Becky Lynch gave birth to daughter Rue on December 4, 2020, and speculation about her WWE status has been running rampant ever since. Rumors were floating around not too long ago about WWE wanting her to be involved in an angle with Bayley at WrestleMania 37. Reports suggested the plan was for Becky Lynch to enter the arena in a large truck and interrupt a segment featuring Bayley. Sportskeeda Wrestling's Rick Acino recently spoke to WWE's role model, and she dismissed the rumors as wishful thinking. We spoke more about it in our previous video, be sure to check it out. As reported on multiple occasions in the past, WWE originally wanted Becky Lynch to return for a massive match against Ronda Rousey, possibly at WrestleMania 38. WWE has several creative options on the table for Becky Lynch, but the most lucrative contest is inarguably against the former UFC champion, Rhea Ripley is the current Raw Women's Champion and a storyline with Lynch has a lot of freshness and long-term potential. As of this video production, there are no backstage updates regarding what WWE has in store for Becky Lynch, but the Irish superstar looks to be gearing up for big things. How should WWE book Becky Lynch's return? When do you see it happening? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. WWE superstar Alexa Bliss seems interested in forming an alliance with former rival Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks recently posted a photo on her Twitter handle which garnered a huge response from her fans in the comments. Alexa Bliss noticed the photo as well, which was captioned Show Me Again, The Power of the Darkness, and she had a cryptic response to it. Bliss tweeted that she would love to show Banks what she wants to see, and that there's always room for more on the playground. The response to Alexa Bliss tweet drove fans nuts. Many of them tweeted in support of the idea of a Bliss Banks team-up. Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks aren't strangers since they've feuded on various occasions in the past. The duo faced off in a singles match for the first time in November 2013 on NXT. Banks came out victorious, and it was the first of many heated battles the two would have in the near future. Bliss and Banks feuded for the Raw Women's title in 2017 and traded the belt in a span of eight days in August. Banks defeated Bliss for the belt at SummerSlam, but ended up losing it to her on Raw eight days later. Alexa Bliss is currently one of the most interesting characters in WWE. She joined forces with The Fiend last year on SmackDown, 
and the two were later drafted to Raw. Bliss' character has potential, and the idea of her teaming up with Banks and turning the boss into a deranged entity will certainly send waves across the WWE universe. What do you think? Would you like to see Alexa Bliss join hands with Sasha Banks sometime in the near future? Booker T has stated that WWE fans could see a title change at WrestleMania Backlash, as he predicted that Cesaro could defeat Roman Reigns this Sunday. The Hall of Famer said that a win for the Swiss Cyborg would give the company huge publicity and would make news around the world. Booker T, on his Hall of Fame podcast, discussed the match between Cesaro and Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship at WrestleMania Backlash. The Hall of Famer said that WWE should crown Cesaro as the new Universal Champion and further stated that the timing is right for him to win his first world title in the promotion. I don't think it's bad timing for Cesaro to win the title, he reigns, could win it back a month from now, I can actually see Cesaro winning, the fans loving it, we could always pull the trigger and get Roman Reigns back in that position, but for Cesaro to have that moment, you know, WrestleMania backlash moment, could be the best thing for Cesaro. That's the press, that's news, that's news around the world, that Cesaro wins the title over Roman Reigns, if Roman wins, it's just another win. So I can definitely see something like that happening, said Booker T. Booker T said Cesaro is a bigger underdog than even Daniel Bryan going into the match against Roman Reigns. He believes that fans would love to see the former United States champion win the title as he has been a hard-working individual for years. WrestleMania Backlash will take place this Sunday in the Thunderdome at the Yangling Center in Tampa, Florida. Six matches have been confirmed for WrestleMania Backlash, five of which are title matches. At WrestleMania Backlash, Roman Reigns will defend his Universal Championship against Cesaro, while Bobby Lashley will put his WWE Championship on the line against Braun Strowman and Drew McIntyre. The two women's titles will also be defended as Rhea Ripley will face Charlotte Flair and Asuka, while Bianca Belair will put her title on the line against former SmackDown Women's Champion, Bayley. Rey and Dominic Mysterio have a chance to win the SmackDown Tag Team titles from Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode, while The Miz and Damian Priest will continue their rivalry in a lumberjack match at WrestleMania Backlash.